Our vision is to be a world class leader. Reach out to the needy. It's the joy of the institution. And research. I'm terribly excited about this work. The world to the highest level of performance. In medical education, we need to have the theory and the practical classes being integrated. For this, we need uh, something new, an uh, artificial representation of a real world, uh, where a trainee can make mistakes and learn from them without the fear of harming the patient. Father Augustus Muller, a German missionary, came to Mangalore to teach. His courage, innovation, and entrepreneurship inspired the setting up of Father Muller Charitable Institution, which for over 100. 36 years has been advancing healthcare. The institution has grown like a banyan tree, but still it continues to live that challenging spirit, innovative spirit that the founder had to reach out to the needy. And today we feel that we have to be up to date and respond to the needs of the present times. The reach has to be still further and for this Father Muller Simulation and Skills Centre that provides ample opportunities and immense opportunities to upgrade the skills in every area, doing every procedure. One can be an excellent performer and all this goes for the benefit ultimately of the patients. The Father Muller Simulation and Skills Centre, commissioned in November 2015, is a state-of-the-art training facility for learning clinical skills. Equipped with the most advanced medical simulators, this hub of learning is the first advanced simulation centres in the city. The centre currently houses full-body high-fidelity simulators for maternal fetal care and human patients. These advanced, sophisticated medical simulators were provided by the world leaders in medical simulation technology, CAE Healthcare, partnered with Macula Healthcare. Training programs will be conducted for the healthcare and all healthcare personnel of the institution. CAE Dallas Lucina simulates normal to their childbirth scenario and non gravid patient in one care. Its advanced birthing mechanism, realistic fetal landmarks, and anatomically correct pelvis allows learners to identify presentation, recognize stages of labor, and practice novel, preach, and emergency delivery. The baby cries upon delivery and delivers APCAR predictions. Lucina's female patient model is a realistic female patient simulator and can be used for practice of non birthing. Metiman is one of the best high fidelity patient simulators. With advanced integrated physiology, Metiman allows instructors to easily launch scenarios so they can focus on teaching. Realistic Airway accepts more airway management devices. Metiman is also wireless and durable, making it ideal for training in disasters, fires, and other non clinical scenarios. Father Muller Simulation and Skill Center has appealed for accreditation with the American Heart Association and is awaiting a positive response. This center will then become a recognized international training center for conducting advanced life support courses. In a classroom teaching, the teacher, most of the time, he is the one who is doing most of the talking. Whereas in the simulation center, the teacher is, would be just a facilitator. By the meaning a facilitator, he would just stand there and observe what the students are doing, correct them if they are wrong, and students would be doing most of the talking there. So they would have been using all their knowledge that they learnt in the theory class to practically manage the patient there. This technology is so fascinating, I can't wait to start using all of this. Workshops are conducted with the aim of spreading the culture of teaching with clinical simulation by orienting the healthcare teachers to an innovative and effective style of teaching. The teachers are given an hands-on experience to use the simulators and were also trained to evolve 
from a conventional teaching practice to a facilitative teaching method. To promote patient safety, you need a teamwork and uh, teamwork will come only when we uh, practice scenarios together from other works of life. So I feel that uh, such dedicated and enthusiastic facilitators uh, really help in uh, building up the scenario and uh, enhancing uh, uh, the learning experience of the students. With the vision of holistic advancement of healthcare, we have a faculty from 10 different departments. Doctors from the Department of Anesthesiology, Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Department of General Medicine, Department of General Surgery, Department of Pediatrics, Department of Otorhinolaryngology, Emergency Medicine, Department of Nursing, Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Critical Care, Medical Surgical Nursing, IT Department, Biomedical Department, and Clerical Staff. Activities of the Father Muller Simulation and Skills Center is governed by the Steering Committee. These are the people who built this place from the ground up. Reverend Father Richard Coelho was responsible for planning and supervision of logistics. Reverend Father Rodolfo Ravidisa gave us constant support and guidance from the very beginning. Reverend Father Ajit Menezes, along with Reverend Father Richard Coelho, skillfully and meticulously executed the project in record time. Dr. Sanjeev Rai, Sister Winifred D'Souza, and Dr. Shiv Prasad guided us in conducting activities in their respective fields. Dr. Lulu Sheriff and Dr. Ritesh Dikana worked tirelessly to set up the center and the enthusiastic chairperson of the steering committee, Dr. Jaya Prakash Alwa. With the use of mannequins, every individual in this campus could be taught how to save a life. And I'm terribly excited about this whole thing. And I hope my dream of setting it and trying to push it forward to the best possible so that every individual comes to know how to deal with case scenarios in their day-to-day -day life. And in the whole process, hope to help many a patient to survive in critical scenarios and come out with the best of results.